What's up? What's going on, guys? Happy Friday to you all. It is another episode of Fan Art Friday. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? We got Eagle 43 in the house. What is up? With a little gif or something that's not showing up. Hyper Potato says dart. Dart to you, sir. Dart. Because Atari Air Force, Atari Force rules. What is dart? Like and subscribe. Thank you, Hyper Potato. Please do like and subscribe. We got a Nicholas Greer. Greer. I said Greer last time. But it's gear. Howdy, howdy, howdy. How you doing, sir? Howdy, howdy, howdy. And a Nighthawk Warrior. What is going on? Hello, everyone. How are you, Eric? I am good. I am good. Um, start a bit later today. I had to do some running around. My dog, Ruger, homeboy, has a UTI. We found out. So we had to go pick up some, some medicine for him. Not cheap. Not cheap. The doggy medicine is not cheap. Robert Shepard, what's going on? Hail. Hail to the chat. Hail, Eric. Hail, Nick. Some monocle emoji. Oh, nice. Bummer we couldn't see that. Uh, maybe it's showing up on YouTube, but not. it's not showing up on StreamYard. Bummer. All right. Hi, Robert and everyone else. Hello, hello. Poor dog. I know. So I mentioned previous, He's he's been like, he'll get up from the ground and... You know, he just kind of like pee a little bit on the ground and we're like, what's going on? He hasn't done that before. Could be old age, but there could be something going on. So we took him to the vet and uh, they took a sample of Ruger's, you know what? And they found he's got a UTI, poor guy. So got to get that checked out. He also has an ear infection, which we got to take care of. So got to do that. So anywho, that's what I was doing. Went to Costco, was checking out some stuff, checking out the books that they got there and all that while I had to wait. Um, good deal, guys. I hope you're all doing well. Happy Friday again. <sighs> Let me know what I'm drawing. Let me know what y'all want me to draw. Robert Shepard, last week, he got the uh, ARO, which I mailed out today, by the way, brother. So that's on its way. Um, the week before, I think we did Angelique. The ace, and when the ace, Robert Frank in the house, what's going on? Prime! Prime! Now that's lowercase, but do you mean like, do you mean like the character Prime? Um, let me know. And do you mean Optimus Prime? Like what Prime are we talking here? If that is indeed Hyper Potato Dart. Who is Dart? I don't even know who Dart is. Who is Dart? Dart. Okay, you did say Dart, but I, I didn't. I don't know who Dart is. All right, we got to find out who Dart is. Prime from Malibu. Okay, so Hyper Potato came in first with Dart. If if Dart is a character, I remember a Dart from like the gosh, it was like Eric Larson's Freak Force or something. Was there a character named Dart? Is that who you're talking about? Atari Atari Force it must be from Atari Force. All right. Hyper Potato, if you want, if you can, send me a message. DM me with this character, Dart, so I can find out. Okay. Jose Luis Garcia Lopez character. Okay, from Atari Force. All right, all right. I will, I will check that out. That's what we're drawing today. All right. Sorry, you said Dart, and I'm like, I don't know Dart. Sorry. All right. So let me check this out. Let me check out some Dart. Dun, dun, dun. Pull up the good old phone. Jim Lee ripped her off. Oh, all right. Jim Lee ripped her off. What, what character did he do that was a ripoff of Dart? Was it Psylocke? Let's see here. Let's find her. Let's find a picture. Maybe I should do it on my computer. I'll show everybody. Let's see here. Jose. That's a lot of names. Let me Let me see here. Jose Luis Garcia Lopez. Dart. Dart. Oh, there we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh, she's cool. Nice. All right, let me share my screen here. Eric's going to learn a little something. Zealot. Can't remember for sure. All right, let's take a look at her. And we'll... Uh, 
we'll we'll see what we think here. Let's take a look. Um, hold on, StreamYard, share some screen. Share the screen. We're gonna share this one. Boom. There we go. All right, so there's Dart. All right, she's got white hair. It's short. She's got a circle right there. Zealot's got the three things over here. She's got the red outfit. She's got a gun. Zealot had a sword, but, you know, she used guns sometimes. Did she? She did in, in like, yeah. I think in the third issue, fourth issue, I think she was rocking a gun. But, yeah, I could totally see that. I could totally see that. Red legs there. All right, let's see what other images we got. Boom. This is some cool artwork, man. I dig it. And there is Jose Luis Garcia Lopez. Boom. Dart. Nice. Atari Force. So this I don't I don't know of. Atari Force. I feel like I've kind of heard of it, but not really. Now that looks kind of like Zealot right there. Look at that. The circle thing. The short hair. Let's let's pull up another image for comparison. Let's see if it'll let me do this here. Will it? Okay, good. All right. Jim Lee. Zealot. See what you guys think. Boom. Oh, she disappeared. All right, let's try this one. Ah, too small. Let's try this one. Ah, too small. Um, dun, dun, dun. There you go. Oh, there's a recreation of that uh, back alley scene from the first book. So she's got the the red circle dot. She's kind of got short hair, and her costume is red. That's a cool image there. I've never seen that before. Thomas Mason. Drawing that up. Oh, it's on Twitter. Oh, I can't view that tweet. Whatever. Don't be dumb. So anyway, there you go. All right, so I'm going to draw the the original the original for Zealot. Dart. Nice. I like this image. This is cool. Very cool. I like it. I dig it. She's cool and sci-fi like. I like it. So that's what I'm drawing today, folks. Let me check the chat and then we'll go over to the drawing table. Indeed. Nikki Harris in the house. What's going on? Howdy howdy. It's been a while. Hello. Welcome back. Yes. Uh, I'm good. Thanks. Caught a live one. Hope you are well. I think Lee said he homaged her. Okay. Yeah. As long as he gave some credit. I mean, she does look like a cool character. So I can see why he would do that. For sure. Let me go back over here. There's some. These are all awesome, fun images. Check this out. Boom. That's cool. Oh, Dustin Weaver. That's nice. Very fun. Awesome. I'm excited. Good deal. All right. Let me move my camera over and let me get drawing. Stop my camera. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Oh, hopefully you guys can hear me good. My, my mic is kind of pointed in the wrong direction there. It's over at my drawing table. Get this set up. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's see how that works. That works. It's a bit of an angle. Let me see if I can adjust that a little. Eh, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Alrighty, and so it begins. Let me come over here to my dart reference. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so cool deal. Atari Force. I've heard of it, but I've never read it. It looks cool. I dig it. All right, so let's come over here, grab a pencil. Um, all right, let me pull up it on my phone. It's too hard to see across the, the way there. Let me come over here. Get out of there. Dun, 
dun, dun, dun, dun. A Tory Force Dart. Bam. All right. Cool deal. Put this over here so I can see. I'm going to do a little. She's going to be crouching down. Make sure I make uh, it's a good spot for the head. I could always move her body down if I have to. Let me get rid of this. Boom. All right. Doo -doo 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 -doo. These images look really nice. I know they do. I'm excited about this character. Didn't know about her, and now I, I dig this character. All right. But first, before we begin here, let's see what's on the drilling table. I'd like to show you guys anything I'm working on. This is a little J. Scott Campbell Venom Spider Man that I'm inking for fun. Um, I printed one of these out for my son because they like to ink stuff in blue line. And I was like, you know what? This looks too much fun. I'm going to do it too. And uh, so I blew this up and I started inking it. So this will be like my warm up to get my pen flowing, get my, you know, just get in the mood of inking. And uh, yeah, I finished the, we added one more page to the Samson book I was working on. So this is the last and final page. The final image from Samson book three. And uh, the idea is he is, he's the scribe. He's kind of writing the story. Uh, he's chronicling the story of Samson. And the writer wanted to leave it a bit open in case we want to come back and revisit stuff. And maybe he wants to write other stories and tell other stories from Sam Samson's exploits or something like that. So that is the very last page of Samson book three. So I still have to do a cover. Uh, which I will be doing some roughs for soon. And then, yeah, so that'll, I'll stream that when I get that going. I just got to do some roughs, figure out how I'm going to work it. Uh, let's see. So this over here. Just get the dun 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 dun. All right, so she's got a big gun up here, and dig that. That's cool. I dig this. I I like I like sci-fi stuff, man. I like um. Have you guys ever seen Travis Shuray's, um Space Girl? Is it Space Girl? Yeah. Let me see. Dun, 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 dun. So this is uh, it's a bit dusty. It's on my shelf. But um, he does a cool... There's like a little thing he does with this character, Space Girl. So I found this on like eBay or something, but super cool. It's all like the same format, but really neat detailed stuff i love his work so i pick that up i dig i dig sci-fi chicks it's cool i need to check out meta barons uh i think bancroft was talking about it the other day on a stream i i've seen um the meta baron stuff but i have not gotten any of the books but that looks like some awesome awesome work Dang, that is a big gun, too. That's going to go off the page. All right, I'm going to have to do a different gun. Sorry. Sorry, Dart. But I'll do a cool sci-fi gun, because sci-fi guns are cool. I'm just going to... I'm just going to do something crazy. 
All right, I'll figure that one out, but that'll be fun. Something crazy cool. All right. Okay, uh, other arm, what to do, what to do. I don't know if you guys can see this. She's crouched down. Um, I got to draw all of her cool boots and stuff. This knee's got a nice big old thing on it. Oh, and guys, if, if anybody wants to draw along, let me put this up on the screen again. Uh, somebody suggested a draw along. If anybody ever wants to draw along, go ahead and post your images. Use the hashtag FanArtFridayDrawAlong, F-A-F Drawalong, and just tag me in it. And uh, I will share that wherever you post it. So I'll let that tick across the string there. Meta Barons is good. Yeah. So is that, um, is it French? Is it, is it, um, I feel like when I've seen images for, of it, it's actually, it's in French. So, but I'm sure there's a English adaptation, right? Translation there. Eric, will you share the finished version in another live stream of the Venom and Spider-Man? Yes. I will, um, I will, yeah, I'll be I'll be streaming that periodically. So every now and then, before I get to work on a Shadow Century page or something, I'll stream that. So I'll just do that separate on the side. And uh, yeah, you guys will check that out. You can see the it. All right. So her other arm. Let's see. How do I want her face turned? I think I want it down. Or I could do to the side. I think her head's too big. Let me make that a little smaller. I'm just gonna do a relaxed kind of. She's gonna have this gun out. I do full body, but she's got so much stuff on her and she's detailed, so it's going to take a while. So I'll do a little crouch position and uh, won't take quite as long. Doodle -doo 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 -doo. I'd rather finish on stream, you know what I mean? For you guys, get it all done. I really like this girl's colors too, man. I like, I like her. Shout out to Hyper Potato for the awesome character today. Noise, and it's one I don't know. So awesome. All right, so. <clears throat> All right. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go ahead and do her head here. And I do apologize. Sorry, I uh, didn't quite know who Dart was. So if ever you guys throw out a character and I'm like oblivious and you don't let me miss it, I, I'm, I'm dumb sometimes and I could miss it. So don't let me miss it. <clears throat> You were pretty clear there, Hyper Potato, but, you know, again, I can be stupid, and uh, just don't let me miss it. Dun, 
dun, dun, dun. Let's see some more images. Ah, oh, I see. She's got the Atari logo over here. I see it now. What's up, Burger? Come to breathe on everybody. Yeah, Ruger, he, uh, he breathes heavy, too, so I don't know if that's another issue we got to look into, but uh, I think we're going to get him some x-rays, make sure he doesn't have any cancer or anything. That wouldn't be cool. Okay, so dot on the forehead, and then... She's got this cool little whoop whoop going on. Very cool. All right. Face looks cool. Um, let's see here. Make sure this stuff is looking good. This might be a little bit bigger. Dun, 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 dun. This goes into here. Now for all the detail y stuff. And there it goes. We've got our first pen that fell today, folks. Wonderful. Wonderful. <clears throat> All right, got the belt here. Something cool here. <clears throat> Bit of noise. Uh, let's see here. This over here. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's check the chat. Meta Parents is good, says Nikki. There's a newer one which is still ongoing. It continues on from after the classic Meta Barons collection ends. All right. Pope Fire in the house, what's going on? Finally, I made it to one. You did. I've been wondering about you. I'm like, where's Pope Fire? I hope all is well. Hope you're doing good. There is, yes, a huge hardback. Oh, nice. Yeah, I need to check that out. Ongoing, not like monthly, though, as a lot of the European ones tend to release them as larger albums. And how much of the of the work is done by Travis Charé? Charé. Hi, Popar. How are you? Long time no see. I know. Shared the live stream. Thank you. Nighthawk. Appreciate it, man. Metabarons can get weird, too. Not one for the kids. Ah, gotcha. Good to know. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I've got some got some odd ones I've picked up over the years that uh, are fun, but unfortunately, they're not, not for the kids. Um, let's see. This one's kind of... It's not exactly like Metabarons, but it's, it's kind of like a fantasy sci-fi... I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. This is uh, from Heavy Metal. Frazado, the Keepers of the Masser one. So this is cool. It's got some fun stuff. It's, uh, dun, 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 dun. This kind of reminds me of it. But yeah, just it's all like painted and awesome, awesome artwork. But, uh, but yeah. So I don't know if I even have all of them. I have one through six. I don't know. There's probably more. But that's some fun stuff. But 
you guys know me. I collect for the artwork. So if I see anything cool, I try and pick it up if I can. So I think I got that at like a San Diego Comic Con or something one year. Frazado. I'm trying to expand my horizons, you know. Got to got to check out some other stuff besides, you know, the good old 90s books that I love. I'm trying. I'm trying. But uh I've had those for a long time now. There's that. So this character has a very interesting vibe to her. She's got like different pieces of her outfit that are like like that little tassel thing kind of looks like Indian. And uh, she's got like the, the dot and the stripes that are kind of like Indian as well, but not Native American Indian, but like, you know, Indian Indian. So she's got a lot of, got a lot of vibes going on in her, in her outfit here. But it's cool. I dig it. Holster. All right. Gotta get that Atari symbol in there. Dun, 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 dun. She's got this thing on her arm. Arm a little bigger. Um, I don't know if I drew that arm right. Let me see here. Just kind of like holding it out, a relaxed pose, but let me make sure that looks proper. Make sure that looks right. So it should be, should be kind of like, some of that, some of that, let's see here. Let me draw this. This is where drawing through the object comes in handy. You gotta draw through, make sure you get it good. And what kind of gun she got here? So I feel like, all right, I feel like to stay true to the character, I need to give her her same gun, which it's a long gun, but that means it's going to go off the page. So I hope you don't mind, Hyper Potato, but if I'm true to the character, it looks like she's always got the same gun. So let me, I'm just going to do the same gun. Uh, and... So this, hold on, let's see here. Okay, well, Dustin Weaver's picture, she's got, there's a, it's a little different. It's a little different. I'll stay in the same wheelhouse. How's that? I won't go too far off base. It'll look cool. That's all we care about. Does it look good? It will look good, I promise. She got this weird stuff going on in her glove. So Pope Fire, do you know this character? This is Dart from Atari Force. I had no idea. I had no idea. But she's a cool looking character. All right, let's see here. So shirt. Dun, 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 dun. All 
All right. Uh, let me just draw this gun, and we're good to go with the inks here. Draw a cool sci-fi gun. Something like that. Boom! There we have it. And let's see. This is coming off here. And this will go down there. Clickety clack, chickety check. Boom, boom. There we go. All right, let me draw some pupils. She is looking at us. Make her neck a little thinner. Thick neck can make a chick look masculine. We don't want to do that, do her? All right, let me make sure I did her legs proper. And let's see here. That's a... That's, uh, okay, Ruger, I'll let you out. You came in. You barked because you wanted to come in. Now you're in. Now you want to leave. Sure. Fine. Whatever, dude. Just interrupt the stream. I'll be back. Ruger wants to get out. You want to leave? You want to leave? It's like that's why you guys got your your uh, your reputation being dumb dogs. Don't be dumb, dog. Don't be dumb. All right. I feel like we need to add just a little something over here. There's gonna be something. To say this is this is sci-fi. I'm gonna draw a little plant. Little sci-fi plants. Ooh. Okay, darn. So I'm getting, uh, I, sh I should be having a stool delivered today for my, uh, my drawing table here. I bought a stool at uh, Hobby Lobby. That stool did not work out. It was comfortable in the store, but when I brought it home and put it together, it was not comfy. So I just went with the old, like, stool, flat seat, little tiny cushion. Like, I'm going to give that a try. Because my, my current chair is not being nice to me, and when I'm done drawing, I have like a, my leg is all sore, and I just don't feel good. So I need, I need a better seating situation. All right, there we go. So that's that. And uh, since I got my drawing table, this drawing table, in fact, when I was in high school, I've always had a round, uh, just regular stool, four-legged stool, round seat, and I've never had any problems. But uh, what I'm using now is like a chair for the computer, and it, it's just not, uh, it's comfy, but it's not conducive to good posture, I don't think. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a flat stool and see if that helps. I'm going to go back to the flat. Okay, here we go. Time to do the inking. There you go. Humphrey Bear in the house. What's going on? All right. Uh, da, 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 da. What was that space one called again? Um, was it Space Girl? Was that the one? Space Girl. Volume one. I don't know if he's got uh, a volume two out or not. I'd have to check. 
but this one goes all the way up to oops um this one goes up to and i think he did these like daily just like daily things so there's number 56 and uh yeah there you go so there's that one and then the other one i showed you was um uh keepers of the masser m-a-s-e-r number one and that's from frazado okay time to ink here we go nope not that one put all my pens in order so i know what i'm grabbing got my five got my eight Humphrey Bear in the house. Water, you drawing? Fly Fox Pro, what's going on? So this is Dart from Atari Force. Uh, a character that I had no idea about. But now I do. Thank you, Hyper Potato. And, uh, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Awesome drawing, Eric. Thank you, man. More cool stinking inking. Heck yeah does look really nice. Thanks, man. Okay. Time to ink. Dun, 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 dun. Do I want to go with a brush? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Let's see here. I'm going to go with this. Dun, 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 dun. Drop in the black areas. Besides Star Wars, uh, what's one of your favorite sci-fi movies? I, I love me some sci-fi. I'm a big fan of uh, The Fifth Element. I can watch that one over and over again. I like... Um, I actually really enjoyed the new Total Recall that they did not too long ago. The, uh, the city stuff and just the look of the 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 world and everything I, I dug it it was cool uh what else of course the old stuff can't go wrong with some aliens can't go wrong with that but besides star wars because you know i'd consider that sci-fi even though it's you know a space western All right, let's go with let's go with the eight. Dun, 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 dun. I started watching um, Foundation on uh, Apple, Apple Plus. It's um, from Isaac Asimov, and uh, kind of getting into it. It's going to take a few uh, episodes to really know if I'm going to hang in there or not, but so far it's all right. It's a lot of buildup, a lot of, a lot of story, and um, yeah. So, I'm checking that out. Checking that out. We'll let you know what I think. All right. So, let me move my camera up so you guys can see where I'm working here. Fortunately, I can't. Well, all right. I'm just keeping this area. Stay here, Eric. Stay here. Let's 
see. All right. So I got to ink that. I dig the fact that her costume is like asymmetrical. That's cool. Like the one knee pad is different than the other. And uh, just different things on different sides. It's not all perfectly symmetrical. I dig it. Amanda B is in the house. Hey, Nittletowski. What's going on? What's going on? Nikki Harris, got to take off. Till next time, my friend. Peace out. Peace out. Boom, boom, boom. All right, man. I'll be back. Fly Fox Poe is good. Good, good, good. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Let's see here. What I miss? What I miss? Uh, Eric has all right. Atari Force is a comic series based on the popular video game console Atari that was made into a comic series, a way to promote the game console. All right. So, man, what's the date on that? When did that come out? Atari Force. Dun, 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 dun. Humphrey Bear. Gary did a live stream last night. But it was for Inktober. I know. Bump, 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 bump. Still at work. Ah, all right. Catching us at the work. That's all good. How is your day going? Are you asking me or Eric, says Nighthawk. She's asking both of us. Anybody. Yeah. Anybody who wants to answer. My day has been good. I um, I mentioned I did some run around. I had to go pick up some medicine for my doggy Ruger. He's got a UTI. And uh, so I went to Costco for that. Because uh, I found out that Costco actually has, um, at their pharmacy, they carry a lot of stuff for animals too, apparently. Not just humans. So I went to Costco. Got me some medicine. And, uh, yeah, I dropped off last week's Fan Art Friday art at the post office. So that is out. And, yeah, so anything else to report? I don't think so. I think that's it. I had some stuff I was going to talk about today, but I can't seem to remember what that was. But if I think of it, I'll, I'll just, you know, chat. But, um, yeah. Thank you, phone, for alerting me to that message I have. Thank you. I appreciate that. I will check it out when I have time. Tonight, I'm going to go check out a high school football game. Friends of ours, their son is on a team. And uh, he is a, I think he's a running back. And uh, I think they're doing pretty good. So I'm excited to check that out. It's always fun to go to local games and stuff, hang out. Um, back in the day, the kid, the school, uh, yeah, the school, were my kids there yet? I don't know if my kids were attending yet, but um, they did go there. But back in the day, the same family, their older son was playing. And I think he was the QB. And we went to that game to check it out, and it was fun. And the kids were running around, and, you know, there was a bunch of kids, my kids' age, and they were just running around having a great time, having fun, running around under the bleachers and all that good stuff, and playing football on the sidelines. It's just fun, you know? So we're going to go do that tonight. And, yeah, hang out with friends. And that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. All right, she's got some other stuff on this pad. Let's see what's going on on this side. She's got some stars and another little symbol. I don't know what that is, but it's okay. It's okay. All right, let me go to my number three for the hair. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, and I remember in that game, actually, another friend of ours, their kid, he got like, I think he went up for a pass. And then he got hit when he came down, and uh, he was on the ground for a while after that. Poor guy. But yeah, 
That happened. There's my three. Okay. So I remember that one in particular because he got walloped. He got walloped. I could never play football growing up. I played baseball because uh, I have hemophilia. That is a bleeding disorder, if you guys don't know. Uh, we're missing uh, a part of the clotting factor. There's 11 different factors. I think there's 11 or 12. Now I'm missing the ninth factor. So in that long series of events that takes place when your blood clots, I'm my body's jacked up on the ninth one. And uh, so it's a mild case, thankfully. But um, if I get hurt, or cut or bruised um it just takes longer to heal so um so my parents never wanted me to play football which is understandable but i still wanted to so i just played football you know with friends around the neighborhood but uh i still got hurt but i played baseball and uh what else did i play i played soccer eventually when i was in college i was a goalie I was a catcher in baseball, and so, you know, it was kind of like, ah, oh, make a good goalie. Actually, I played in high school, too. That's right. I did play some soccer in high school. Goalie. I didn't play too much, though, because I was, like, the backup goalie, which was fine, because, honestly, I was, like, I just wanted to do something to keep busy during the off season of baseball. So I did, like, winter track and just whatever to keep my stamina up, keep in good shape and all that, you know? But, uh, yeah, so good times, good times. I ended up starting a few games of soccer because the other guy got hurt. And I wasn't that good. I wasn't that good. I stopped a few, you know, balls from going to the net, but wasn't anything great, you know. It wasn't my main sport. Baseball was my main sport. So I was all about that. All about that. And now, as far as baseball goes, I can care less. <laughs> I have my teams, but uh, I don't really watch baseball. I don't watch many sports nowadays. I try and catch an occasional football game if my Eagles are playing, but it's tough living on the West Coast and you like an East Coast team. It is you just don't see them. So, anywho, besides all that, the NFL has gone woke. So it's like you know what, I could really care less now, more than ever. So, all right, getting further along. Let's check the chat. Uh, Eric, here's a link to a video about Atari force awesome um looking great just got out of the store what a wonderful thing to see <laughs> cool man hope you dig it um all right first issue of atari force was 1982 heck yeah that's the year i was born baby love it and 1986 it was published by dc comics awesome yeah so i was i was born in 82 man Eric, you need to check the chat. All right, I did. The Force Awakens. Da -da 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 did I miss anything else? Did I miss something? Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun. I think that's it. Let me know if I missed anything else. Jeff Potts, welcome, welcome. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Awesome, man. Good deal. Yeah, I was born in 82. Born in 82. 80s, great great year. Great decade to grow up, you know. All right, so let's see here. And actually, if you guys want, if you're so inclined, if you want to send me birthday 
money or something. My birthday's coming up at the end of this month. It's my birthday month, you know. So I take Venmo, PayPal, uh, Zelle. Just let me know. You guys can send me money if you like for my birthday. I wouldn't be mad at you. Wouldn't be mad at you. <laughs> uh, Speaking of the 80s, we're getting a little Ghostbusters soon. A little Ghostbusters Afterlife. I'm hesitantly looking forward to it. I think it, it could be good. We will see. I'm, I'm thinking it could be good. I'm not getting my high, hopes up too high, but it could be good. There we go. All right, let me draw this little Atari symbol. Get that out of the way. Do, 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 do. No super chats yet, Eric. I know. Got to get those uh, get those subscribers up. Speaking of which, I'm at like 457 last I checked. So if we get to 500, if I get to 500, I'm gonna do a cool giveaway and uh. Give out a bunch of cool Shadow Century stuff. So, what that means is you should invite a friend. Tell people. Come check out Fan Art Friday. And uh, if we get to 500 subs, we'll do some cool giveaway. And then when I get to 1,000, then I think that's that's the, the special number, right? Then you can do some super chats and stuff. So, eventually I'll get there. We'll see. Eventually. gonna take a bit but it's all good we'll get there i'm in there for the long haul you know i'm in for the long haul All right. And remind me, guys, when I do, I need to do something special for y'all. Um, whoever comes to Fan Art Friday regularly, you guys are going to get a special discount when I do my Fan Art Friday Drawn a Quarter book. Because you guys, you guys are the ones here throwing out the requests. So. I'll do something special for you guys and something that only people on stream would get, not just everybody. Doodly doodly doodly. So that'll be next year, though. I'm going to do a cool art book, do a crowdfund for a little, a little art book. That'll be next year. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let me do... I'm going to... No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to freehand that. Let me get out my elliptical. Let Seven likes for the live stream. Yay! Cool deal. This thing on our face reminds me of something else. Oh, the dude from 300. He had something like that on his face, but it was like in gold. 
kind of just hanging across his face. It's kind of weird, but uh, whatever. All right, there's that. Let me go in and throw some details on this thing. Oh yeah, and I mentioned this yesterday. If you guys were there, if you caught the inking on the J. Scott Campbell Venom Spider-Man piece, I'm gonna do uh, an inking book too. So kind of like an adult coloring book, but for inking. So if you guys are interested, and trying your hand at some inking. I'm going to do a little inking book. And so the plan would be to do an art book for Fan Art Friday, drawn a quartered artwork, and then also do a inking book and a coloring book. So just do a few different things for that campaign. So an adult coloring book, or for kids. I know my kids are going to use it. But uh, coloring book inking book, and an art book. Three different books. Dun, 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 dun. All right. There's that. Let me do something there. there. Okay, now there's some circular stuff that I'm not going to freehand. Let's do that. Bigger. Mm, smaller. All right, let's try that. Cool. All right. Now for the Atari logo. Go with the three. Something like that. Oh, it worked. I think that's it. I think that's how it goes. Who here has actually played on an Atari? Haha. <laughs> that'll, that'll tell me how old you some of you guys are watching. I played on it for a little bit. Like just a little bit. But uh not much. I still remember when uh the Nintendo first Nintendo came out, but uh, Atari. I played. Uh, I know my my late father-in-law had one, and he put, had all like the sports games. So we'd play like football, and I know he had Pong, and um, I'm sure he had Space Invaders. But uh, yeah, so that was fun. Man, it's it's crazy to think how far video games have come in such a pretty short time. That's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. I mean, gosh, when I when I was a kid, they didn't even have cell phones. Like the the car cell phone, like kind of came out not too long after I was born, I guess. But even still, that was like in the '90s, I think, late '80s, early '90s. It's crazy. And now, 
look where we're at. Look at where we're at. Gosh, just 15, 16 years ago, I still had a flip phone. It's crazy. Okay, what else? Let's see here. Draw some stars. She's only got two. Let's see. Maybe three. One hiding in the back. Boom. And another little symbol that I don't know what it is, but we'll just draw it because it's there. It's a little C V circle thing. Maybe it's Pac-Man. It could be Pac-Man. Who knows? It could be like a little Pac-Man thing. I don't know. Okay, that's that. Let's ink of that. All right, she passes the beautiful test. I didn't jack up her face too much. She's beautiful. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it's funny, man. She totally, now I can totally see the, the zealot look going on there. Very funny. I never knew that. I try to be an expert on all things Jim Lee, but, you know, some things I just don't know. Okay, let's see here. It's going to be here like that. Like that. And like that. And like that that there we go let's check the chat see where it's at six people watching what's going on six people uh where am i at eight likes now hot tamales me wow cool eric awesome uh, Cole, Cole, Cole Vision, and Cole Cole Vision. Me, oh, okay, for the Atari, yes. Hyper Potato played on the Atari, and Cole Cole Vision. I don't know what, what is that. That's not is that it? That's not a game console, is it? Was there another game console? Um, Cole Cole Vision. This drawing is cool, Eric. Are you going to do any Shadow Century pages on live stream soon? Um, I will. Um, coming up very soon, I've got a few pages that won't, won't like give anything away. In fact, they're going to be some cool team shot splash pages. So I will do that, uh, coming up. So I do have to do that Samson cover. Um, so I'd say in the next few weeks for sure, I should have something I can do live stream on with shadow Sentry. Could do that. So yeah, these, these pages I'm working on now, um, it's got uh, Bloodbane's new look, uh, and I want it to be a surprise for everybody. He's got a cool new look. So, a little bit of transformation he does that he's able to do. His powers allow him to do. So, 
but it's it's cool. You you guys are gonna you're gonna you're gonna be impressed. I think I think I think you're gonna like it. So I want that to be a surprise. All right, let's see what else. Draw a little hints at the three dimensionality going on here. Oh, is that the, oh, you're talking about this thing, that little symbol. It, it looks like a CO. So that's ColcoVision? Is that what that is? ColcoVision. Interesting. Learn something new every day. Era day. I tell you, era day. Roscoe Davis, am I late? Only a bit. It's all good, man. <laughs> What's going on, man? Hey, everybody. Are you at work, man? Cutting some hair? Say hello to all the peeps getting their hair cut. Hello from us to them. We're just drawing some stuff. This is, uh, I think, Roscoe, you know who this is. This is Dart from Atari Vision. Are you familiar with Dart? I had to, I had to learn that today. I didn't know. Hyper Potato rolling in with the cool character. Dart influenced Zealot from the Wildcats from Jim Lee. Happy to note. It's cool. I dig me some Zealot and Grifter. Oh, yeah. Big fan. Speaking of which, actually, because I have it in reach, show you all the... So there, there she is there. See? Red dot. She doesn't have the circle thing but she's got those things on her face she's a coda assassin and oh look turn right to it bam splash page looking cool deadly and beautiful um so yeah so she's got the red she's got the definite kind of hair stuff going on other than that not too much but uh and she uses swords not guns but there you go definitely see a little inspiration there All right, let's see where we're at here. Let's go with two. An hour has elapsed. An hour. And let's see here. Let's draw a little clippity clip. Clipping the boots. Sometimes the pencil lines are like perfectly placed and it's like, I want to keep that. But uh, by the time I erase, I'll forget that that line is even there, but it's perfectly placed and I want to keep it. But, uh, you know, we'll see if I remember. It's just like a perfect little shadow that if I ink it, it won't look as good as the nice little shadow the pencil's creating there. All right, let me do some more. All right, let me do this. Hold on. Before we move on, little tassels, little tassels. Bum, 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 da, 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 da. It's on a little circular thing here.
Cool deal. All right, so that's that. Now let me go in here. F3. Let's finish this. Right. All right, that's that. All right, let me do our arms and then go in with the finer details. That there. This will probably be in the shadow. This will be in shadow. Well, thank you, phone, for that. Oh. Philip D has just tweeted something. Oh no, he put it in the group. Sorry, darn. But hello, Philip Diaz. Baby girl woke up from her nap, but it sounds like she's not happy. But that's okay. And let's do another little swoopity swoop right here. Swoopity swoop right there. Either that or it could be my my son is messing with her, which could be the case. He does that from time to time. It's funny to watch uh, kids and how they interact and react to their brothers and sisters. Because, like, it was funny. For the longest time, my daughter, she didn't really like my my youngest son, Cole. So, like, whenever, whenever he'd come around, she just kind of, like, <laughs> shrugged away. She knew something was, was coming that she wouldn't like. So she learned quick. Like, eh, I don't like him so much. Stay away from me. <laughs> but uh now she's 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 taken to him. He's gotten a little better. He's not as quite quite as uh I guess rough with her. Alright, let's do some shading here. Do some shading here. Let's draw this. <laughs> and Let's go with some other stuff. I don't know what. Just something. Something's back there in that belt. Something's back there. Let's go a little bigger. One more. And some shadow. I'll poof it out a bit. There we go. Get some shadow in there. Let us know what's in the back. <clears throat> All right. That is a very, it's a quick hand right there. Just hinting at knuckles and such. I like it. I like it. 
It's the shorthand version of a hand. Shorthand of a hand. Speaking of shorthands of hands, look what I got. Where'd I put it? Ah, here it is. Look what I got. I got a ginger root hand magnet. At first, I couldn't tell it was a magnet because it wasn't sticking to anything. But uh, then my son, he's like, is this a magnet? And he stuck it somewhere. He's like, it's stuck. I'm like, all right, good job, son. I got this little sticker, the Lucent comic. And here is this bad boy right here. Boom. Still reading it, but uh, so far, so good. So far, so good. The Lucent. I love the cover. Got all those cool effects to it. So that's on my reading list. And then uh, I also got the Graveyard Shift. That I got to read. I got that in. And, uh, yeah. Lots to read. I also got another comic. Uh, I got it on Kickstarter, but it's not that good, unfortunately. So but I won't tell you about that one. Because it ain't worth telling about. Okay. What next here? Just some squiggly squiggles. Um, let's see. Let's make this one a little darker. This one a little darker. Okay, um, let me do some leg. Lines here. Let's go here. Oh, that's a tangent. And some shadow to get rid of that. I want to go read this book now. Atari Force. I'm going to check it out. Almost done. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. Um, other arm, gun, and then done. In the background. How are we doing on time? 120. All right. Seven Watchers. What's going on, Seven Watchers? Happy Friday. Hope you're doing well. If you want to draw along, Draw along, post it, and uh, do the hashtag Fan Art Friday. F A F Draw Along. If you do, and tag me in it so I know you do, and I can repost it for you. But uh, I think I might save the background for off stream might do that dun, 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 dun. Fan 
finish that off. All right. Let's do... Just hinted some muscle-y structure here. Just little hints here and there. Can't hurt. And some roughage. Just rough it up a little bit. And then there's this section. If I had the time, I'd want to color this because she's got some cool colors. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe I can color it in Photoshop and then do something on the campaign where I do a trading card of her or something. That'd be cool. What do y'all think of that? What do y'all think of that? All right, so shadow. So the ground is going to have a shadow, and her boot is going to have shadow. But how do I differentiate the shadow on the ground from the shadow of her boot? Ideas? Anybody? How would I do that? How am I going to do it? If you were an artist, what would you do? I know what I'll do, but I want to see if you know what I'll do. Or what, what would you do? How would you do it? What's something, what's a technique you can implore to separate the blacks? What could you do? Dun, 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 Bueller. Bueller. Oh, hey, Avon. What's going on, buddy? Via Sarah Niltaski. Hi, Daddy. Hey, man. What's up, bud? Uh, what is your favorite Bible movie, animated or live action, Eric? Good question. Jeff Potts, read the chat. Um, Hyper Potato, how did you get Aaron Lepresti to do a cover for you? Oh man, There's, that's that's a story. No, I'm just kidding. I just asked him, and uh, I paid him some money, and he did it. That was it. Here, I hear, love you, Cole. Hey, Cole. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Um, this is. I got to show this. This is my son, Cole. He inked this. Del Keown, uh, Venom, Carnage, and this guy. I don't know his name. I don't know why, but I don't know his name. But anyway, my seven-year-old inked this recently. And uh, he did a fantastic job. So way to go, Cole. Way to go, Cole. I'm going to do another... Eventually, I'll do another... Uh, um, it was cold today. Cold vision was amazing. Um, oh, I got to catch up on some chats. Yeah, I'm way back here. Okay, but anyway, um, I'm going to do a, what do you call it, auction eventually again. And uh, my kids will sell some of their artwork. So he's, he's he did that for that. All right, where are we at here? Um, does anybody understand NFT art? Is it safe? How does it work? <laughs> Can't even, uh, that's, don't know. <laughs> Colco Vision, made by Colco. I think they made Teddy Ripskin and Rambo figures. Huh, interesting. Getting everybody looking good for the weekend. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't understand it. Is it safe? I'm sure it is. I'm looking into it. I'm 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 looking into it. Dada. Dada. I know who that is. That's my baby girl. Hot cocoa with marshmallows. Cold co vision. Hi, Jarvis. How are you? Uh, Coco vision was amazing. Arcade quality graphics. Donkey Kong, Zaxxon look like the quarter games. Nice. Cool, man. Cool. Yeah, I never heard of that. My boys fight 24 7. Calgon, take me away. <laughs> uh, hot and cold running water. 
with the jokes. Humphrey Bear with the jokes. Um, Hyper Potato, how are you also... How are you? Also, what are the facts you know about that game? Uh, dun, 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 dun. Uh, okay, I think that catches us up. Good question, Hyper Potato. How did Eric get Aaron LaPress to do a cover of Shadow Sentry? Jeff Pons from the channel. Where was this? Oh, okay, here you go. What is your favorite Bible movie, animated or live action, Eric? Um, hmm. So, gosh, it's been a long time since I've seen the Ten Commandments, which was good. Um, but honestly, I think I'd have to go with the the Prince of Egypt. Um, really like that. The uh, the animated one with Val Kilmer. Really like that one. Um, yeah. So if I had to go with one, I'd probably go with that. Um, yeah, I've seen... There was that other one they did recently it's like the gosh was it just called the bible um it was like all live action what was that called i think that was called the bible that there's some good stuff in there um yeah but beyond that as far as animated go goes my my kids i found this animated um thing called superbook and uh cbn puts it out which they're not like great as far as you know content stuff but um but this this cartoon series and it's all like good cartoon quality like cgi um animated stuff that's good and uh it's all like you know for kids and so i got some of those for my kids those are good um it's it's basically like kids from today going back in the t in the future this thing called superbook takes them back to the future and then they learn you know, the different Bible stories from actually being there and, you know, they learn all that stuff. So those are cool. Um, so those are good for kids. If y'all have kids and you want to get them something good for learning Bible stories, that is a good one. Super book. Check it out. Uh Oh, it's getting loud out there. Oh no. All right. So anyway, back to my question. So for, for this, I'm just going to change the direction of the lines. So if I have any white coming through, it's going to be going a different direction than than the ground lines would be, and that's that's my mode of separating the two black areas, yeah, something like that. So, boom. I could use some white out too. I guess that would work, but um, this area would be black. Oh, and I, I literally love the music in uh, The Prince of Egypt, too. The music is great. All right. All right, something like that. Maybe. Eh, I don't love it, but it's... Let's see. I guess I could do. I could do all black. Let's see. I'll just pick out a few pieces of white. I think that'll work. Your eyeball and your mind are so smart that even if I do color this all black, you're still gonna be able to tell that it's her leg back there. So boom. There you go. I think that works better. I'll just cut that. My initial idea was not great, but uh, it's okay. It works. Boom. Let's go a little over here. Okay. I got to do the gun. I'm going to do some rocks. Some quick rocks. Something like that. All right. All right, let me do the gun, and then we call it a day. We will call it a stream. Thank you all for hanging out. Hi, Daddy. Annabelle's in the house. What's going on, Annabelle? I love you, Dad. Are they fighting over the phone out there to tell me they love me? What's going on out there? All kinds of stuff going on. Did you draw anything for October? I did not. I'm not doing any October 
what's it called? Ink October. I'm not doing any of that this year. I would if I had time, but uh, I don't have time. So I'm going to be drawing some Shadow Sentry, and I'm going to ink some J. Scott Campbell. That's that's what I'm going to do for October. That's what I see in my future for October. So sorry, guys. I know Inktober is fun to do, but uh, I just I don't have time this year. Got so much going on. So much. All right, so this little clipster over here. Maybe if I was see, I'm not good at like real quick drawings. I mean, I could do it, but and I should probably train myself to do quick stuff better. But uh, like this is a this is a decent drawing. This is an hour plus, so you know, just I got to make the best use of my time. And, you know, so while I want to, I just, I can't. Unfortunately, I've got to be smart with my time. All right, so there's her gun. It's going off the paper, but that's, that is her gun. We did we did it justice. Did it justice. All right, this is that that that. Okay, and a few more details. Why not? All right, let me go back to my marker. Add some more stuff in. Oh. All some little things here and there. Break it up. All right. Let's do a little bit here. Cool deal. All right. So I think I think that'll do it. I'll do some uh, space flowers over here. Finish off the background, and uh, I will post it. Woo! I'll post it on the Twitters and uh, on the Instagrams. Eric Nilotowski on both, I believe. Actually, Instagram might be Eric Nilotowski Art. I take it back. Eric Nilotowski Art on Instagram, at Eric Nilotowski on the Twitter sphere. And then just, you know, go in with the little, little stuff here and there. But there you go, guys. First time ever drawing Dart from Atari Force. Very cool character, Hyper Potato. Thank you, man. I dig it. I dig it. All right. Just details. 
detailing it up. All right, guys. You all have an awesome Friday. Have a great weekend. And, yeah. If you're new, go back some Shadow Sentry. The link is not in the description because I forgot to put it in there. In fact, I don't think I put anything in the description today. Weird. I might I may have even gotten the episode number wrong. I think we're on episode 38. So anyway, let me check the chat and then we will I will say ta ta. Um bump bump bump. Be sure to sign that art. Oh, I will. Don't worry. Today's October 8th, Eric. Thank you. Um, I don't know why you're telling me that, but thank you. Great job, Eric. Thanks for doing this. No problem, man. What facts do you want? Colco Vision. That was a console I got as a kid one magical Christmas. I think I got it so I would quit going to a friend's house to play. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, adios, bro. All right, Fly Fox Pro. Take care, my friend. Nighthawk. Peace out. Hyper Potato. Take care. Thank you guys again. And uh, till next time. Stay face. Have fun. Play face safe. And all that good stuff. Okay.